Welcome to my channel, Playing with Maserati. I'm going to be doing a Family Dollar Haul. It's not a big haul or anything, it's just a few items. I just wanted to show one of the items. So we'll just get into this little small goodie haul plus planning related. Or bullet journaling. So the first one I picked up is this Ruffles Mozzarella and Marinara Flavored. Wanted to try it. It looked good. So that was just that. Those cheese sticks look good though. UPC if you're looking for the product. But it does look really good. Next item I picked up is you have to have your Swedish fish. As a kid growing up, this is what I used to like to eat. This is candy, you know, whatever. Soft, chewy candy. You get a four ounce for a dollar. Not bad. It's the UPC. And look at how good those look. Ooh, sweet as fish. Now this is the... Oh, computer going crazy there. This is what I picked up that I wanted to pick up was these markers. And they are the fine, super fine, super tip markers. This is not the Crayola brand. I'm going to flip this in the back. I don't know where the tag is at. Oh, here. So that's what it looks like. It's the school bus brand. The Crayola is, I think, was like a dollar more. I need a piece of paper. What is this? And with this is you learn how to do lettering styles. So this is the tip. So I don't know how to hand like handwrite. I don't know how to do the fancy writing. So I'm just gonna show you just the way it looks. But it writes very nicely and it didn't bleed through the receipt. So supposedly you're supposed to go heavy and light and see I can't even do it so it's heavy down stroke and light up stroke but that's what it's practicing for is to learn how to do that so they're called the Crayola super tip markers or fine tip marker and I'm just using just the regular basic super tip markers this was 275 I believe so yeah, so this is pretty good. And the Crayola ones were only one row. You're getting two rows, which is how many? 20 of them. And it is the bra tip, and look at the fun colors. And then I'll show you the back. These are some fun, pretty colors to play with. So this is what I was looking at, just to do some planning and stuff and then I know a lot of people are using it to highlight I think it's a little too dark for highlighting like they're using it for their highlighters I've seen in one video the person did that see these colors don't even look like the color that actually like this looks peachy and it's orange and then the orange one, let's see this one, because this is an actual orange, probably peach. This is an orange one. They feel dried out though. That's what I get for buying a cheaper version. That orange one looks a little dried out. and But that's orange. The other one looks peach. Let's see how the red looks. It's not a tutorial, I'm just checking the markers. The red ain't bad at all. The red is red. And if you look at it, I mean, it is visual in the back, but it's not. This is a cheap receipt, so it's not bleeding coming through the page, but I mean, you can see it. So this is my video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your family and friends. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this short little video. It's just, I wanted to come on here and show you these kind of markers. You don't have to use a Crayola to do the hand lettering style that people are doing. 
But in this case, it's starting to like dry out already, so maybe it would be better to use it. But this is my haul. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.